Noken Corner. In nursing, it is always important to keep our knowledge updated. In this video, we are going to update our emergency medication. Continue to watch till end. Let's make it easy. Today, we are going to see in detail about the drug noradrenaline, which is also called as norepinephrine. Naturally, norad is both a neurotransmitter and hormone which plays an important role in our body's fight or flight response. As medication, it helps to maintain blood pressure and treat many short-term serious health conditions. Let's see the action of drug in detail. What does it do? How does it work? And its duration. Noradrenaline is a vasoconstrictor that stimulates the alpha-1 receptors to cause peripheral vasoconstrictions. The adrenoceptors have alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1 and beta 2 in which alpha 1 receptors has more effect on norepinephrine that is noradrenaline. Clearly understand that it does not directly increase heart rate or blood pressure. The main effect is that it increases the organ perfusion by increasing vascular tone. Therefore, the medication constricts peripheral blood vessel to gain perfusion and increases the blood flow to heart and other organs simultaneously increasing blood pressure. So this is the action of drug. The onset of action is 1 to 2 minutes and the duration of action is 5 to 10 minutes and its half life is 3 minutes. It's time to know about indication and contraindication. The indication of drug is acute and critical hypotension, septic shock, pericardial tamponade and cardiac arrest. In regard to contraindication, there are no absolute contraindication but it should be avoided to hypertensive patients and hypotension caused by hypovolemia. The noradrenaline should be given with precautions in patients with hyperthyroidism, ischemic heart disease, mesenteric or peripheral vascular thrombosis, extravasation, profound hypoxia or hypercapnia. As the drug causes peripheral vasoconstriction, it may lead to increase in area of ischemic and infarction. Hence, for these patients, Precaution should be taken before administering noradrenaline. How can you dilute the drug? The concentration of drug available is 2 ml ampule which contains 1 ml is equal to 1 mg. Therefore, a 2 ml ampule contains 2 mg of medication. The drug can be diluted with normal saline, 5% dextrose or any isotonic solution as prescribed by the doctor. In case you are going to use a syringe pump, you can take 4 to 6 ml of normal saline or any isotonic solution with 4 ml of drug noradrenaline. That is, you have to take 2 ampule of the medication. How will you administer the drug? The best route for administration is central venous axis because this route has maximal effect and minimal risk on extravasation and subsequent tissue necrosis but even the peripheral intravenous line can be used in case of emergency but there is high chance for risk of extravasation what are the nurse's responsibilities while administering the drug the nurse should check every two minutes at the beginning until the desired BP is attained. After that, every 5 minutes the BP can be checked. Remember, the blood pressure and rate of flow should be checked frequently to avoid hypertension and the patient should be on continuous cardiac monitoring and also check for overdose symptoms such as cutaneous vasoconstriction, bed sores, circulatory collapse and hypertension because since peripheral vasoconstriction the patient may more prone to get bed sores and circulatory collapse so i have to check frequently regarding these overdose symptoms 
The care should also be taken to avoid extra vasation in case the patient is on peripheral line. Let's see about the drug calculation. Sometimes the doctor may advise for single strength or in case the patient is having severe hypotension, sometimes double strength can also be prescribed by the doctor. In case of single strength, 2 ampule that is 4 mg of drug with 46 ml of normal saline can be taken. Therefore, the final concentration will be 80 mics per ml. In case it is double strength, then you have to take 4 ampule that is 8 mg of noradrenaline and 42 ml of normal saline in the syringe of 50 ml so that you can get the concentration of 160 mics per ml. It may differ from various hospital to hospital but most commonly the same can be used. The formula that is used to calculate the mics is desired dose into time in minutes divided by drug concentration. Let's see an example of drug calculation. In case the desired dose is 2 mics as prescribed by the doctor, then the time is 60 minutes, the available dose is 80 mics, that is it is a single strength calculation. You have to take 2 ampule of noradrenaline, that is 4 ml of noradrenaline with 46 ml of normal saline, therefore you get 80 mics of uh, solution. Uh, the calculation is desired dose into time in minutes divided by drug concentration. Therefore, 2 into 60 divided by 80. In case it is a double strength, means you have to divide by 160. The hour of infusion you will get is 1.5 ml per hour. Thank you for watching till the end. If you have any questions or queries, give in the comment box. Otherwise, you can contact us through nurses no corner at gmail.com.